Well, we made it to the parking garage. Now we gotta go up to the room. So what do you say, Camel Duck Dave? And look at this, I open my door and I find a penny, heads up. All right, as you guys can see, the parking lot is totally full. This guy, look at this guy, decided to park his uh, Durango right in the middle here. And I'm walking by, I'm like, what a jackass. I didn't do this. <laughs> somebody, somebody put a, <laughs> you are a jackass <laughs> on, his, on his Durango. So funny. Check this out, just got to the elevator bank and Jay Leno's coming here in March. That's cool. Just got off the elevator and look at the 17th floor. It tells you 1737 to 1752 is one way, 1701 to 1735 is another way, but which way? Doesn't say. Okay, 1705, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Let's see, 1735, 1733. Hopefully we're on the right way. 1731, 29. If you guys haven't noticed already, I'm staying at the Oceans Resort here in Atlantic City. Figured never done a room review or hotel review video. So we're gonna do that. And pretty awesome hotel. This is a very interesting hotel because it was actually opened as the Rebel and then they went bankrupt. We're getting close to the room. They actually closed, reopened, and uh, they opened under Oceans. I don't know how many years ago it was, but a few years ago they reopened as Oceans. And uh, it's been open for about 10 years total. So here's our room, let's go check it out. Well, we made it to our room. Is this a doorbell? It's a doorbell. I've never seen a hotel room with a doorbell. It's so exciting. All right, let's see. Love these things. Now I've already went in here real quick, just so I can put on some lights. And I, apparently I didn't put on enough lights. All right, so we gotta find the light switch. It's always tricky. There's a light switch. There's another light switch. All right, and lights 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 always fun okay went old school the light switch was on the actual lamp itself i got some plugs there decent tv like samsung that's cool got some stuff here Let's see what's in here is this a mini fridge i'm gonna guess I bet you there's nothing in it nothing come on this place doesn't even give you a bottle of water got uh, some nice chairs alarm clock see how the view is she said the view was gonna be awesome all right so let's, let's see the view she get yeah we got a cool view look at this there you go the windows are a little dirty probably on the outside i'm sure and this is the uh, last hotel on the boardwalk so there's the atlantic city boardwalk right there looks beautiful and if it was light out which i'll show you guys tomorrow you could see the ocean Let's go check out the bathroom. We got a bathroom, nice bathroom. Look at that. It's pretty, hey guys, there I am. Got a nice shower. It's in here, is this, this the toilet then? <laughs> you get pooped by yourself. Shower's pretty sick. How do you open this one? Nice, got a little thing in there to sit down on. Some towels up there. Pretty nice, two sinks. Let's see, they gave us some uh, toiletries here. Look at that, I noticed there was a hair dryer down here. A little worn. Haven't used one of these in a long time. Meanwhile, at 1.30 in the morning, they're selling N95 masks on the Home Shopping Network. 
This is the kind of crap that you end up watching at 1 30 in the morning. Better hurry up, they're almost out of black ones. So here's our view. I gotta be honest, in the last half an hour or so, the uh, fog's come down quite a bit. You guys can see the Atlantic Ocean there. Pretty neat. And uh, yeah, you can't see much else. Looks like they got a little gas fire going on down there. I gotta figure out how to get down there or even if I could get down there. Well, we certainly found the fire pit, which means my room is somewhere up in that direction up there. Someplace. They all look the same. I wish you guys were all were here with me because this is so cool. This is everything we saw from our room and apparently there's several fire pits down here. I'm gonna get a pretty cool view in a second of the boardwalk. And obviously these are all gas. Look at that, you can just see the ocean. You got steel pier over here. That's where all the rides are. These are closed for the season. It's too cold and probably just not enough people to come down to enjoy the rides. I was surprised that even the observation wheel is closed. Here are one of those places to eat. This one's actually open 24 hours a day, according to their signs. Let's see what they got to offer. Wow, well, look at these. These are ice cream sandwiches. Ten dollars. You definitely need someone to share these with. Gigantic. This one. These look good. Looks like I have pizza over here. Everything looks like it's pre-made. If you like sweets and desserts, this is definitely. Don't know how they taste. This is definitely the place to come, though. Let's take a look at that donut. No Krispy Kreme donuts, but this is gonna have to do. It's got Nutella on it, so it's gotta be pretty good. You know what that tastes like? That tastes exactly. <laughs> Look at my teeth. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it tastes exactly like. <laughs> I can't do the video with this. This is so funny. <laughs> um, it tastes exactly like an Edmund's donut. Oh my god, it's got Nutella inside it. So I got chocolate all over my teeth. Mm. Pretty good, but I could probably got to eat eight of these for $2.99. <laughs> Came back over here. I got to be honest, I was really skeptical at first when I saw that donut. I was like, uh, I don't know. They didn't look too good. It was actually really good. I was quite surprised in a good way. So that was awesome. All right, here we are in the district. Got a couple places over here. Got a bar that is closed. Villains and Saints. The Villain and Saints. Another bar. All right, this little truck right here. Another sign is actually a taco truck, which is awesome. Uh, it wasn't open last night when I was here. Actually, none of the stuff was open because it was so late. Yeah. Taco truck. Got a couple places over here. A salad place. We got a Seaside Deli. I love the name of this one, Boardwalk. <laughs> it's like your, uh, looks like your mole Chinese food. District Grill. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I had this last night, I had a hamburger. It was, to be honest with you, probably the worst hamburger I've ever had in my entire life. I ordered it with bacon, there was no bacon on it. Got already to my room, there was nothing on it. It was just cheese and a burger, and the burger was terrible. We got scoops ice cream. So I got some ice cream right here. It's pretty cool. A lot of ice cream places here. Ten dollars for a cookie sandwich, banana split, or a sundae. You get a waffle sundae for thirteen bucks. This is right up my alley.
Now this place, Serendipity, this looks awesome. It's not open yet, but uh, I would definitely come back here and check this out because this looks cool. I thought it was all like ice cream, but they have burgers. Looks like they have cakes. And I've never heard of this place. It says it's a New York City experience. So I'm guessing there's one of these in New York City. I'm gonna have to check it out. Apparently this place has restaurants hiding in every corner. This is Rico's Italian Kitchen and Market. Look at all the tarts, brownie bash. Get some cool little things here. Here's some gelato. This place was hidden well. I, I did not notice this place. It's right next to the district though. And they got pizza by the slice and these actually look pretty good. It's still pretty early for lunch. It's probably about 11 o'clock. And you can see these look nice and fresh. Slice of grandma's, anyone like those? I go for some garlic knots. That's the biggest garlic knot I've ever seen. It looks like a, a roll. It's the size of a fist. So here's your prices in 2022 if anyone's interested in coming here. I don't think they're too terrible. Pause the video if you guys see something that you guys want or something that uh, you guys are interested in. You want to see the price and maybe I scanned over too quickly. Well, just uh, had an awesome interaction with some people and uh, they're going to subscribe, they said. And uh, it's cool to meet some nice uh, nice people and uh, they're older older people and I just by older I mean older than I am and uh, they're from North Jersey so if you guys watch this video hi <laughs> thanks for uh, watching thanks for subscribing and then uh, another guy that we were hanging out uh, we were, while we were talking we were talking about it and uh, he offered us a free slice of pizza I didn't take it because I'm just ate a donut but thanks for the pizza <laughs> at least offer this is a Mata this is the restaurant I really wanted to eat in and I think they're closed today, which is Monday. This sucks. I want to say they reopen tomorrow, Tuesday, but I won't be here. Let's go look at the menu. So normally I'm not into this really uh, fancy dining, but there was one thing on the menu that I really wanted. I looked at the menu ahead of time and I love lamb. Does anyone else love lamb? Oh my God, so good. Why is this place closed Monday? I would have eaten here. It's very pretty. This is cool. If you sat right here, you have actually a really, really nice view of Steel Pier. Look at that. That's an awesome view. I love that. Get the Steel Pier, the ocean, the boardwalk. Got the flamingo shorts. So that only means one thing. We're going to the pool. Go. That's right. We're going to actually check out the pool. I didn't know if I was going to get to go in the pool or not. I really wanted to go, but I wasn't sure if I was going to have time. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to the pool. I need some uh, relaxation. And this does not look good because they told me that the pool closed at 8 p.m., but then the lady on the phone told me that the pool was open to adults until 9 a.m., which didn't really make any sense to me. But, uh, I guess I can't go in the pool like I thought. So, looks like I'm not gonna be using the flamingo shorts. Yeah, the pool wasn't open. The germ's not a good listener. Gotta learn to listen. I am certainly not dressed appropriately, but we're gonna go see if we go at least check out the pool. I was gonna go swimming, but it's just getting way too late to be able to do anything. So we'll go check it out anyway. You guys can see it's pretty cool. The indoor outdoor pool. And look at this, hey, it rains inside. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Let's go outside, we'll check out the jacuzzi tub. Now keep in mind, it's like probably 30 to 40 degrees out here. They got a hot tub over here. This is awesome. 
And I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike now. But look at this. That's awesome. Great spot for it too. Look at this view, man. This is freaking amazing. So I'm out on the pool deck right now. This is probably a really awesome spot to be in the summertime. It's pretty cool in the winter, to be honest. I really like this place a lot, man. Um, it's pretty cool. It is really pretty cool. All right, let's go check out some other things. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tour of Ocean's Resort Casino. It really is a beautiful hotel and casino. The staff is really nice. I met a really nice security guard. He was pretty cool. Uh, we talked for like 10, 15 minutes. And uh, it's just, it's really nice here. The pool, the restaurants, there's a lot of stuff here to do. And uh, I enjoyed my stay. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, share. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, also hit that little notification uh, bell. So this way, when I make a video, you guys get notified. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.